There is no doubt that the world stood still. At the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic, which started in Wuhan, China, in December 2019, the disease later declared as pandemic by the World Health Organization, WHO, spread like wildfire with severe adverse implications on global economies, health, education, and other critical sectors. COVID-19 also resulted in closure of schools, thereby affecting over 1.5 billion students world over. The situation was more unprecedented in Nigeria, especially as most of its educational institutions practice the conventional face-to-face -face lectures in physical classroom settings. These developments most likely prompted a $15 million response grant to Nigeria by the Global Partnership for Education, GPE, to enable 16 selected states develop specific response strategies for safe school reopening. The impact of, of the virus itself and, and, and the populations that are um, very vulnerable for the spread of the virus is, is the reason why the, the GPE program is focusing more on, on, on northern um, states to make sure um, we are this. If you look at the socioeconomic uh, indicators of the country, northern states have a much lower um, sort of indicators compared to the rest of the country. And I think vulnerability is, is huge and much higher than um, other places. A breakdown in the implementation of the grant, according to Mrs. Augustina Apakasa of the Federal Ministry of Education, informed the Kano Cluster Workshop, organized in collaboration with the United Nations Children Fund, UNICEF. The main focus of this workshop is for you all to be trained on the importance of COVID-19 protocols and thereafter step down this training to the stakeholders at the community level. Because of this uh, era of COVID-19 and the need for all schools to be safe so that learning will take place, so that there will be no, there will be no break in learning because some parents are, are afraid are taking back their children back to school, they may contact the disease. To tell them that learning can still take place and the child will go to school safe and come back safe. Representative of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, Hajia Hanotubello, who presented several modules including strategies to cope the spread of the pandemic in schools, also have a need for strict adherence to the COVID-19 safety protocols. Ensure that you are not within one meter of anybody. Observe safe distance. That is what we call the physical distance of at least two meters and above. Ensure that you wash your hands regularly with soap and running water. Or use hands and tights where you don't have soap and running water. Make sure that when you want to cough, you go into your inner Or you use tissue paper, which you will dispose immediately into a covered way. And then also ensure that you when you come out of your house or you go into a gathering, you are using the face mask. Please, when using the face mask, use it the way I am doing it. Your face mask needs to be firm on your face. Other health professionals also called for establishment of surveillance and early detection network in schools. Actually, here in Kano State, we have already designed the system since the uh, first uh, case of COVID-19 after this project, then the closing of the schools. Here in Kano State, we have already organized a lot of uh, sensitizations between uh, health and ministry of education, and most of health and ministry of education, and definitely from that uh, sensitization, Show at we show how we are reassuring of people how to become safe, how to protect themselves, how to take an IPC infection preventive control of our COVID 19. The two day workshop ended with high expectations from participants from Kaduna, Kebi, Sokoto, Kasina, and Jigawa State, who are mainly in the education sector to know the importance of COVID 19 protocols and surveillance, as well as step down the training at the community level. All the highlights of the program include distribution of campaign posters and school readiness templates to the respective states. CNA News.